Today, December 10th, is Human Rights Day across the world. It was designated in 1950 by the General Assembly of the United Nations, just two years after the 1948 Universal Declaration of Human Rights. Today, we are at the Painters' Union in Armenia on December 10th at a photo exhibition and contest. The exhibition was organized by a number of organizations that are working in Armenia. Those include the United Nations, the EU delegation to Armenia, the OSC office in Yerevan, the Council of Europe office in Yerevan, together with the Human Rights Defender of Armenia and the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. The photos depict uh, the lives of young people and the theme was raise your voice to protect your human rights. Maria Dotenko, the UN Department of Public Information representative, explained the objective of the photo exhibition entitled Raise Your Voice to Protect Your Human Rights. This exhibition is the culmination of a long, much longer campaign uh, aimed to promote awareness of human rights and also to promote youth activists. The photo exhibition um, uh, goal is, uh, like, uh, aim is to raise awareness how each of these young people, what they did personally to protect human rights, is a there or their peers and each of these photos tell has a long story behind like very touching story how young people were able to promote human rights and protect human rights after uh, it will be exhibited here we are going to take it to Mars and we will organize debates with our representative of international organizations and local authority on human rights in the regions because we also pay a lot of attention to the region to young people in the region this year, the world marks the 20th anniversary of the Vienna Declaration on Human Rights and Plan of Action, adopted in 1993, as well as the creation of the position of High Commissioner for Human Rights, who in these 20 years has enabled an independent, authoritative voice to speak out for human rights worldwide. Ambassador Andrei Sorokin is the head of the OSC office in Yerevan. He spoke to Civilnet about the significance of this day and how human rights is the cornerstone of the work that the OSC office realizes in the Republic of Armenia. For us, for our organization, for my office here, human rights was, is and uh, will be one of the main directions of our work here, irrespective in which field, in which direction. For example, we are working well. We are working every year. We are signing MOU with Ministry of Defense. Of course, we are not supplying arms and ammunition. We are not, but we are working mainly in this particular field: human rights in the army, before, during, and after military service. Next, police. Before we started working uh, with police. We were, uh, the Armenian side was a little bit, uh, how to say, cautious because nobody likes uh, when somebody is teaching them. That's why for us, for example, the most important question was that we are bringing high level uh, professionals in different fields, including in police reform, in police training, who are delivering lectures and sharing their experiences to the local police. Thanks to us, our your Armenian ombudsman, he inaugurated six offices all over the country, including in Gumri, including in Banadzor, in Kapan, so that to help uh, each and every citizen of Armenia during before and during elections. Human Rights Day we are celebrating practically, well, I think our organization is celebrating in those countries who are members of OSC, 57 countries, and of course here every year uh, in Yerevan. So I think this our, it is obligatory for all, for all of us to celebrate, to show our achievements, to share our experiences, with Armenian authorities, with Armenian people, with all who is interested in this very, very, uh, I would rather say, accurate topic. In her welcoming remarks, Claire Medina, the UN resident coordinator in Armenia, stressed the importance of knowing our rights. We all know that today commemorates the adoption of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights as one of the founding documents of the United Nations. Human rights belong to every one of us, without exception. But unless we know them, unless we defend them, 
unless we defend our rights and the rights of others, they will be just words in these old documents. The importance of human rights has been underlined over and over again this year. Across the globe, and also in Armenia, people have mobilized to demand justice, dignity, equality, and participation.